and this cl click on the start menu. Uh, we could go down looking for it in the old programs list uh, and it should be uh, in Windows 7 obviously that we're in. Uh, it should be see it there, Windows DVD Maker. The other way to find it if you can't see it in the list um, is to just type in uh, DVD Maker and then it should list it. Obviously click on that icon and then open the box up. In here the first thing we've got to do is add some pictures. Um, so I've got the sample picture folder which is built into Windows, so I'm going to add the items um, that are in that folder. So I'm in my uh, picture library sample pictures. If I want to select one I can just select one and add. Um, if I do want to select several I'd click the first item and then hold down my shift key on my keyboard and then just go to the last one that I want and I'll select all the pictures that were in that range and then click add. Uh, so obviously tell me there's slideshow, eight pictures are in there. Before we go on to the next, before we click next here, uh, we can change the title and we've also got an options tab. Um, change the title to uh, test for YouTube. Obviously click in the options in the options tab in here we now have some um, fine tuning we can do. For the playback settings obviously start with the DVD menu, I think that's always nice. Uh, you can obviously uh, there are self-explanatory play video and end with DVD menu etc. One of the key ones though, I think um, is the 4.3 or the 16.9. If you've got a widescreen TV which most people have nowadays you'd select the aspect ratio to 16.9. Might stretch the photos a bit but um, at least you fill the screen up with the photo. Can leave it on its default, but um, you try several, and you can actually preview what that's going to look like, which I'll show you in a minute. Everything else can be left. Um, you do have a compatibility, but don't worry about that. I'll just leave it on DVD video. 16.9 PAL if we're in the UK, NTSC if you're out. Uh, you can use NTSC in the UK, um, but we'll leave it on PAL. You know that's safe. And so we'll OK that, and then we'll click next. Um, if you've got another thing to note, if you DVD burner there, if you have several drives on your machine, um, it, you can select which drive you want to burn uh, the DVD from. So if it's E and D, for example, depending on which one you put the disc into. So we'll click next, um, and then Windows gives us um, a preview of what the file is going to look like, um, and the actual DVD is going to look like. And in here we can change uh, the menu text, um, slideshow, how it other transitions and I'll show what that means in a second. I'll click on the menu text, I put test for YouTube before and that's where this text is showing here and that's where that's being pulled from. Play button, um, obviously play, I think that's an obvious one, the scenes button so that'll select different um, pictures uh, and if there's any notes and you can actually write notes in here and it will put notes on the bottom. So for example um, from our holiday and you'll see there that the, it puts notes onto the other pictures, so we'll get rid of that for now. It's all quite self explanatory. You can change the uh, font style as well, but we'll leave it all as normal. Um, and then we'll go back to the menu again. Um, in here, we can actually select the layout that the um, DVD maker is using. Uh, so you can have any of these if you click on it, previews them in the middle, and um, you can see how it puts your pictures in there. Um, we'll, pick, we'll, we'll pick this one uh, for particular. So we've got test for YouTube. Uh, when you put this into your DVD player, it will um, highlight that play button. You can click on play, or you can go and pick the actual picture that you want. Um, you can actually customise how the menu is going to look once you've picked a you know, particular layout, and you can actually put video in the background. And it's quite um, quite good the way that Windows does this. And also the menu, the audio. You can have audio and put song in the background and play. If you do it for a wedding example, you could have wedding music, etc. But um, we'll leave that as it is. Um, if I go back again, uh, we can now go straight to burn if we want. So, um, but we'll preview the DVD and see what it looked like. So this is how the DVD will look when we put it into our DVD player. Um, obviously, we have the play button or the scenes button, and if we keep play, we'll then go through the. Uh, DVD and how it was going to look. We just OK that. Uh, one of the things that's quite important, and the slideshow button here, you'll notice when I went into the preview then that it showed the pictures fading in and out and 
and this is done on this transition here. So this is the how many seconds it's actually on the screen for. So we can change that to five seconds, for example, of it um, least time, and then transition the type of and how it does that. So if we'll just change that to flip, for example, and we'll uh, change slideshow, and we'll preview. So now when we go into the pictures, um, you'll see that when we push play. it flips over when it does a transition. Okay that one. So if we take out, um, leave flip pin and use the pan and zoom effects for pictures, we take that out as well and it will just literally put the, um, the picture on in the centre of the screen. Stir five seconds and flip over to the next one. So now we're into this, um, we've finalised our DVD, we're happy with our um, menus and our writing, our text, our layout. Uh, we'll then click burn and then obviously you have to put the disc into the drive, insert the disc and this will burn into the um, DVD.